what's a good time limit on giving head for a man to a woman before we really knock boots? I've made a nigga give me head for about two hours before. Really? Yeah. I just held it because it felt so good. Two hours? Two hours. Wowzers. <laughs> Wowzers. Yeah, no, his his mouth hurt for a little bit yeah, after. Your yeah, your jaw hurt the bottom of your tongue, that line yeah, that connects your tongue to sore. your jaw. That will be sore. Uh -huh. Like, yeah. your mouth going to be dry. He was down for the cause, Did though. he take water breaks? No, no breaks. Two hours with no water breaks. Hey, shout out to you, brother. Yeah. Shout out to you. <laughs> All right, well. Solution to the play by play, day by day. Can I sit here? <laughs> she jumped up when she saw you walking by. <laughs> oh my god, she's looking yeah, at she me. You should. You think I'm playing? Hi, beautiful. I don't know. She likes putting her face in crotches. Hey, 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 you hey, think hey, I'm hey. playing? <laughs> Why her tail wagging? She's too excited should, to be in there, bro. You think I'm playing? <laughs> Hey, beautiful. I don't know. Maybe she, she maybe she's seen me a, a few too many times. I don't know. I don't know. I fucked. Have you ever have you ever had a dog? Yeah, I've had a dog. Have you ever fucked in front of your dog? Um, yeah. It is. What I it mean, is. I've had I've had a couple dogs. I used to raise pit bulls. Yeah. Oh yeah. You used to raise pit bulls. Red nose. So really? Mm hmm You're one with the earth. Absolutely. Okay. I love me some animals. Yeah. Mm hmm I'm. Listen, you see her. Mm -hmm. Come on now, she love it yeah. here. Yeah, she's naturally drawn <laughs> to you. She is. She's she hasn't precious. budged. I mean, she hasn't left you since since you've entered. Honestly, yeah. And Desi, can can I can I get like an hour with her to you know get the show going? Is that cool with you, Des? She is obsessed. Listen, shorty, shorty. Are you able to multitask? Well, Desi. Oh yeah, I can multitask. Okay, cool. All right, bring yeah, the mic a little trying. closer to you. Like this right here. Um. Yeah. Is that and good? then just however you're gonna be, yeah, just make sure it's within some proximity. There we go. She's gonna be there for a little minute, so she's that's cool. so cute. Uh -uh. She love me or whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> when I bring a yada mean over, mm -hmm. mm. and Desi butters her up, uh, it's over. It's over. That means it's a good night for you, huh? Yeah. Mm. I need to chill out though, Anise. You can't be using your dog for pussy. Why not? That's the ultimate. Ultimate there ain't no chick rule magnet. against that, I guess. Yeah, that's the yeah. ultimate chick magnet. What? It would be different if he was using like a child or something. I feel like that's that's scum well, nigga behavior. Let's talk about that. That's, that's Some, scum. Let's talk about that, shall we? Mm -hmm. You don't have any kids, right? No, not one. Have you ever dated cat babies? A, cat babies. That's yeah. the difference. Have you ever dated a dude that has kids? I could never bring myself to do it. Um, I ask because I have friends that have children, uh -huh. and they say that women are drawn to that, and like when they go out, yo, niggas will go out. To like the mall and stuff and have their kids uh -huh. be by themselves, just them and their kids. Okay. Women will see that shit and be turned on. Why though? I can't. If, okay. If it's me, right, mm -hmm. and I see a dude out with kids, mm -hmm. I'm not thinking about how that's turning me on. Like, that don't turn me on, that turn me off. I don't even want kids. Why does it turn you off? Because, okay, baby mama drama. Like, I'm not the type. I don't need you to fuck with me just because I'm I'm messing with some dude that you was messing with before. Mm -hmm. Like, no, I don't want them problems. I'm a girl's girl, and I don't want to have to punch nobody in the face. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't be fighting. You're too pretty to fight. Yeah, and these nails, uh -huh. expensive. So if I fight, it's not really going to be with these hands. You know what I'm I hate about? when pretty women fight. I honestly, I it's literally, ratchet. I literally hate that shit. Like, I will break up a woman's fight before they fight because I'm like, yo, y'all too pretty for this shit. You gotta be careful though. And, and y'all shouldn't be fighting. No, no, no. If they get active, that's what it is. Right. I'm talking some about of these women got hands. I never break up a fight while it's happening. Okay. You want to hear a crazy story behind that? Yeah. Um, this was like a couple years ago back home in Maryland, right? Mm. It's a party, and my man's. It's like me and my man's, and then some other people I'm with, and it's a group of niggas none of us know. Mm. So my man's he drunk, he go, yo, what that nigga looking at? Oh my God. <laughs> Boom. So I'm like, all right, I get on them tips. I'm like, all right, fuck all this drunk happy shit. Like, okay, we ready, rumble. Right. So then niggas go outside, niggas talk and get the bark and get the rumbling. Boom. Before we get the rumbling, okay. One nigga, rule number one, fellas, never break up a fucking fight. Mm. If it's already there. If it's already there, you gotta let it happen. So right. one dude. I just don't think he really hit the what's really, you know what I mean? Like, he, yeah. he kind of square. Yeah. So he's trying to break up the fight, right? Uh -huh. Here's where he fucked up, though. He's pushing his men back. Like, yo, it's not worth it. It's worth it. His back is towards the niggas that we don't even know. 
the shortest, stockiest nigga <laughs> comes creeping from around the corner behind this nigga. Oh. Let me tell you, I've never seen this in my life. Let me tell you what happened. He wasn't paying attention, baby. The nigga's tooth went flying, Stop. right? He didn't drop. He didn't drop. He didn't drop. You know what he did? He fell in place like some fucking <laughs> flubber or something. He, I've never seen that in my life. He dropped in place. Yeah. He literally, where he was at, he dropped in place. He didn't fall back to the side. He fell in place. Oh, my God. Wildest shit I've ever seen. And I've always said to my... I mean, I've knew before then, but since then especially, I said, I'm never breaking up a fight. So Fuck wait, that he, shit. he knocked out his tooth and knocked him out? That's Both. why he felt like... I think that like nigga was... Lego blocks? That nigga was concussed. I think <laughs> like his jaw was broke. Jenga. Yeah, Jenga, exactly. It was it was bad. So yeah. I just said it to say, yeah, don't don't be out here fighting. Yeah, no, I don't have time because, you know, I, I, I have faith in my hands, but I also pay a lot to make my hands look pretty. I so. mean, they should always be ready just in case. Oh, absolutely. It's 2024. We don't know what it's the fuck tomorrow's going to It's not hard to bite these babies off and get active. Yeah. I, I don't need bitches to think that, you know, I'm too soft around mm -hmm. these parts, okay? <laughs> Has someone ever tried you because you're light-skinned? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do they think you're sweet because you're light-skinned? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why is that a thing? Why do people think light-skinned people are sweet? What's crazy is I feel like light-skinned bitches are the craziest ones. <laughs> like, I don't know why people be just doubting us like that. Like, I... I to make sure it's recording. Oh, yeah, no, you good. good. I literally... The last time somebody tried me, all I did was scream in their face. Like, I was a... Crazy person. Oh, you hit the joint from Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Absolutely. Back up. Just mind your business. That's right. all. Just mind your I mean, business. I could have fought her, but I just didn't feel like it. Like we used to go to school early as fuck. It was seven a.m., so I was tired. I was like, Bruh. did she start it? Oh yeah, she started. So she was she one of the like girls me. that be loud and turned up at seven a.m. Yeah. eating hot Cheetos. Absolutely, she was the hot Cheetos girl. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck that was about in you know, school. She that didn't like me. Wicked. A lot of people didn't like me. That's cool. Y'all well, like me now. Well, there we go. <laughs> You want to know the hardest quote I've ever heard in my life? What? What's that bowling nigga name that was like, who do you think you are I am? Pete Weber. Pete Weber? Pete Weber. Y'all never heard that quote when he was like, who do you think you are I am? No, I never heard that quote ever. <laughs> so he said, who do you think you are? That's the, that Bro, what does that even Though. That's the best part. Nobody it sounds knows. Like an unfinished ass sentence. That's like, the best part. Nobody knows. He forgot the words midway. And just... No, he fucked up the words because that don't make no sense. But I just say that to say this is his retirement video. I appreciate all the fans I had. Hate me or love me. You watched. That's all you could do. Thank you. Is that not bars or what? First of all, is that not bars or what? That might have to go on my next song because that's exactly I'll the send life it to I'm you. living now. Pete Weber. Go ahead and send it. This nigga said, hate me or love me, you watched. That's you all watched. you could do. That, you watched, That's baby. All you, you was could tuned fucking in. Do. Mm -hmm. That nah, that is a hard bar. Ain't it? So that reminded me you. of what you just said. Bet. Let me great your... recognizes great. The Absolutely. Fuck? Let me give you a proper introduction. Boom. We right here with it. What it do, everybody? And thanks for tuning in to the Day by Day podcast for your day by day broadcast. I'm your host, Day with the I, not a why. Do not ask why. And today we are we are joined. A recording artist who spun the block on us, and she's yo, she's been blowing up lately. She's been <laughs> hot in these motherfucking streets, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome for the second time on this platform, Enis. Mm, hi everyone. Give me a round of applause, everyone. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. And, oh my God, stop! You're too kind. There we go. Ah. Oh, y'all triggered Desi. Look, oh. y'all triggered Desi. The bark's <laughs> it's triggered. It's okay, baby. She's doing her job. And y'all know me. I like to shout out everyone who's in the background of these episodes. So shout out to my dog, JD. Shout out to Major Music, first and foremost, yes. for making this happen, making Gang. the first episode happen, making the previous episode with passion happen. So shout out to my dog, JD. Way more works in the future coming. And if you could shout out your homegirls, poor favor. Absolutely. We have two of my baddest bitches. We okay. Go. We got Sexy Lexi. Mm. All right. Go period. Big Lexi. Then we got my girl Von Von. Okay, Vonnie. Vonna. Vonna. Yes, ma'am. What's her name? She a little quiet, but she fine though. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes. Um, all right. So for those who, whether they're tuning in for the first or second time, won't you take the tell the day party a little bit about yourself? And what's been going on lately? Well, uh, yeah, if y'all haven't tuned into the first time, I, I, I graced this one with my presence. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an artist. I've been doing this shit for hmm, not even a year yet. 
But you know, really? I feel like I feel That's like impressive. yeah, yeah. I feel wow. like I've been doing a lot in yeah. this this short time. Um, but yeah, that's the main thing about me. I'm an artist. Mm-hmm. I'm a bad bitch, but y'all saw that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Y'all and saw if that. and if y'all listening, then y'all can hear it. You can hear when a woman's attractive off the voice. Oh, that's really? a real thing. Well, it's not a hundred percent proof, but you you can be like eighty five percent. Because I know sure. some bad bitches with some nasty voices. Billy Goat's gruff type but shit. Sometimes like... that be sexy though. <laughs> To who? That raspy voice on a chick can be sexy sometimes. For why though? Like I don't understand I don't what's know. sexy about it. I, it's a lot of shit we don't understand about ourselves. Okay, now there's certain people with raspy voices. I'm yeah. not talking about. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I could see how that would be. No, I'm not talking about the moan. Okay. I done had a wild ass moan that turned me off. Literally, you don't like, like moaning too loud. Oh, like no, a donkey. Yeah, no, I'm talking about the sound, not the volume. What did you do, nigga? You let her. You kept. You kept smashing. No, nah, I was the one and done. Eh, two. It was a two and through. You was able to withstand Donkey from Shrek when more than once? When in the system, ain't no telling what I fuck or what I diss on. Y'all niggas yeah. be sticking y'all dick at any damn thing. Well, this was oh young to me. Goodness. This was like college me. Oh, okay. You was experimenting. Yeah. You should have lived with that. I would have gave you more grace. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah. I, 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 listen, when it comes to sexual experiences, I love every single one. Okay. Good and bad. Really? Good and bad. Well, How? I wouldn't say I love the bads, but I appreciate the lessons that came with the bads, I should okay. say. Yeah. I, would, I, I can't that. say I loved them because obviously I hated them because they were bad. Respect. But yeah. I always appreciate the lessons that came with every situation I've been situated in. I guess I can say the same thing. Elaborate because you're kind of unsure, uneven about that off of your. Don't think psychoanalyze me, nigga. Like... I mean, <laughs> I done done about 50 plus of these joints. I'm becoming good at it. So I'm going to say I'm a therapist, Dr. Day, but talk to me. Hi, Dr. Day, mm-hmm. face ass. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, it's not really that I regret anything or that I'm upset about anything when it comes to the bad sexual experiences. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm a perfectionist. I don't like getting it wrong the first time. I understand that's life. I it get is. it. There are certain things that I'm able to just... Like, yeah, I fucked up. All right, I got mm-hmm. that wrong, whatever. When it comes to sexual stuff, I'm mm-hmm. very sexual. Mm-hmm. So it needs to be done right mm-hmm. or not at all. Well, let me ask so you So I don't this. like my previous fucked up experiences. It's just like, damn, like... Have you ever had one that was done wrong but maybe fixable? And if so, did you go about correcting? Or did you just leave it where it was? So I'm very vocal. Good. When, when it's good, I'm vocal. And when it's bad, I'm vocal. What do you mean by vocal? So if you're doing it wrong, you're not going to catch no moans from me. Mm. I'm going to get petty mm. because I feel like if we grow, you should know what you're doing down there. Point blank in the period. Like, wh- what's going on? Yeah, well, by growing, you got to know. Like 25 up. Some niggas don't know. Some niggas were never taught. There's what some, you mean? To- I mean, like. I'm, listen, I'm talking about exp- I'm talking about from what I've heard from the woman's mouth, from okay. the horse's mouth. Okay, yeah. It's a lot of women that say some grown ass men that still don't know what they're they doing. They don't know what's going on. They don't Hit. know where the clit is. Yeah. They don't know nothing. But here's my thing I blame y'all. I'm sorry. For what? Because why are y'all not telling them? I Niggas, ain't telling them. You, you said you are, but you said you were I'm quiet. Too vo- no, okay. So when I said I'm quiet, mm-hmm. you don't get no moans out of me. Okay. You get sighs. You get exasperated sighs. But that's and still then you not get correcting. No, it's not. That's not it. It okay. starts off. It's a, it's levels to this okay, shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You can't just Continue. you can't just be like, damn, nigga, you fucking my shit. You can't <laughs> okay, you can't do okay, it. Okay, There's okay, levels yeah. to it because what you yeah, want to yeah, do yeah. is you want to ease them into it and make them think that it's their idea. You don't want to be sitting there acting like you commanding them. Because they like to do it better when they think it's their idea. They like to do it better when they feel like they're improving by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Ladies. I like that. That's, that's okay. actually a great pointer. Right. One- so, yeah. So, it starts off with exasperated size. So, that the nigga knows that, you know. The, okay. You could do a little bit better, you know. Okay. Then, if they continue to mess up, you want to get frustrated. Like, you know. Nothing too crazy, but you, you, you like... Some something like a dissatisfied side, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So then, if he still does it wrong, mm-hmm. that's when you're like, no, 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 try it like this. Mm-hmm. That's when you could try and teach him to do something else. Uh-huh. If they don't fall into that, then that's when you hit them with the your Ubers outside. Okay. Can because I make... I'm trying to teach it to you. If right. you can't apply it, why are you here? Your ride's outside, shorty. Two questions. First of which, can I make a suggestion? Actually, could Go you ahead. place? Step number three, could you switch that with step number two? I think the size, we would, the exaggerated size, we will get that and we're like, 
Okay. We'll, we'll question that's it. That's why I start with that. Yeah, that's yeah. a good start point. Right. And we'll question it on right. some, is that because of me? Right. Right? Boom. Then you should go into the correcting. I think if you okay. go into the side and then the frustration, of course, we'll know it's because of us. Okay. But then maybe the dude might feel a little, I don't know, he might feel a little insecure about himself. I think you should replace. He should. Yeah, well, I think <laughs> replacing step three with two would help. That's just my personal recommendation. My thing is, I'm not going to sigh and then take a break from sighing and then sighing again. I'm not doing that. No, you I shouldn't. You this. should go from sighing to correcting. Okay. That's what I'm saying. And then leave it at that. And if you don't And then after it, that, then frustration, Uber outside. Uber outside. Because that sounds okay. like a gradual... That is a gradual, gradual yeah. That have makes you ever sense. Have you ever made it to the step where you tried to correct and they still didn't do the yes, advice you multiple gave? multiple times. Really? Multiple times. Why do you think that was? <sighs> I picked I, I picked all the wrong people. I'm gonna just put it like Hindsight's that. Hindsight's 2020. We're not. Yeah, perfect. I picked the wrong people. I was young. I was young, so I went for the people who seemed like they know knew what they were doing. Uh -huh. That's why now, if I get around a nigga and he's doing all this about what he can do uh -huh. and what he want to do, I don't really trust it mm. because me, I mm -hmm. could show you better better than I could tell you. Mm. I'm not gonna do all that talk. Like I feel like that's like juvenile like i don't know like you know you remember, you remember being a kid and like putting the asterisks and like kisses you all over like in a text message to a girl mm -hmm. that you like i never did that you never did that shit, shit, I, I did that i, I did that okay. I definitely well that, did that sounds like a woman thing i definitely I, did or, that. or a young lady thing i never yeah, did that corny i shit. definitely did that um i've never sent dick pics i've never sent a dick pic neither just because how you said, i don't believe that you don't believe it no well, well i'll listen let's do this any woman out there that has a dick pic from me, you have 100% my approval to put it on full blast. <laughs> I've never sent a dick pic. That's how confident I am. I've never sent a dick pic. Okay, but even if, let's say you are lying to me, mm -hmm. and they do post pictures of your dick, mm -hmm. that's not really going to do nothing. Like, that's going to make you look boosted. like a dick. Uh, right, you're going to be boosted. So if they so post it or don't post it. Purposes, right. I'm telling you, I've never, I've just, how you say, like, I've just, I don't speak on my shit. Okay. In general, I know the power behind imagination okay. with a woman. A power, okay. I know the power behind imagination with a woman. Okay. Y'all yeah. imagine whether y'all want to fuck us within five minutes of meeting us. Yeah, I, know I mean, that. we read eroticas. Like, we, our, our imagination is. I know that. Up here. Now, after those five minutes, it's up to us to drive the boat in the right, right direction to dock it right. and get off on land that's up right. to us mm -hmm. right so i don't want to you know what i'm saying talk my shit and send pics out because that just makes the that just just adds a, a tide right. to trying to dock the boat i like the way you think that that's perfectly logical i understand that yeah so i've never sent a dick pic i don't talk about my shit none of that now i'm not now listen there's been there's been instances where i got in and out like a bank robbery it's been instances <laughs> No man on this planet has <laughs> never gone without busting quick. No man. I don't Yo. give a fuck. Every man on this planet has had a situation where he busts quick or he couldn't get hard. I need to ask, how does that happen, though? Which like, one? Like, y'all have had a dick all y'all life. Y'all don't know how to It's not about... Not... See? Do you know how many nerves are in the tip of a penis? <sighs> Do you know how many nerves are in a clit? But that doesn't Let's go... start there. But it doesn't go nowhere. We... How, what do you mean it doesn't go nowhere? Your tip don't grow legs and get up and start walking around, nigga. Stay in one is, spot. If those too. nerves reach an enheitment of um, pleasure, then we bust. Okay, but that's the same with a clip. But we know how to. We know how to like. It ain't no y'all know how to. Y'all yes. can bust and recharge and keep it going. It's not like that with male genitalia. I mean, don't blame me because of our what is that biology? Is that anatomy? I don't know. I feel like that's an excuse. It's not an excuse. It's an excuse. What nigga do you know that busted and literally stayed hard after he busted? Have you I, ever had that in your life? I know a couple. <laughs> well, God bless. <laughs> I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a cool. I'm gonna. Need, mm. I'm gonna need a few minutes. Mm. Maybe I mean, a snack. I, a snack. Maybe I'm gonna need a few minutes. Maybe a snack. Does it really like busting? It really takes it out of y'all like that. It's it's subjective to the point where y'all are like. Bedridden. I need water. I need a well, it snack. Well, it depends. Honestly, let me say this. It depends on how much we like the chick. You want to know how I can tell if I like a chick? Yeah. Is if we fuck and I still like her. Okay, so not if I PNC, fuck and I'm post, still hard, but both, if I... Both. PNC, so it's got to be both. Post not clarity, yeah. Post So if I'm not really clarity. if I'm really attracted to a okay. chick, I'll nut mm -hmm. and get hard like very quickly after. I'm not going to nut, stay hard and... 
The quickest I've ever done was like a minute. Like after I nutted, no, that was the quickest. No, why did you just admit that on camera? That's nothing to be shameful about. Some niggas need days. I mean, not days. Some niggas need hours. What? <laughs> I hope not days. Not days, but at least a day. Some niggas will need a day. I just don't get it. I'm going to have to do, I, I'll go ahead and say maybe I'm ignorant about, you know. This was health dick, 101. Dick anatomy or whatever. This was health 101. I just don't understand why it takes so much out of y'all. I mean, coming for you're women. Ex- you're not going to understand. That's the point. You're yeah, not- I get it. I don't have a dick. But, yeah. I mean, I don't know. For women, it's not. Like, I don't know. Yeah, like, that's when we have an orgasm, it rocks the entire body. Like, exactly. But we're able to bounce back. So what's... And I'm telling you that we're not the same, you and I. That's no. all I'm saying. No. And it, it is subjective. That's why it, I need like some I coochie said, it from depends. time to time, too, It could be a minute. It could be an hour. It could be a day. It depends. That don't make... <sighs> I'm going to have to do some research. Because I just don't yeah, get Yeah, do it. your research. Shout out to Lil Reese. Do your research on that. <laughs> I uh, read. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... You moved to Texas, right? I did. How's that been? Um, it's really, really hot. Mm. There's been so many thunderstorms. I can't even count how many yeah. thunderstorms. It's about that. It's about that time. What part yeah. of Texas are you in? Austin. Austin. Mm-hmm. That's a hot spot right now. Oh yeah, I love Austin. Yeah. I visited Houston mm-hmm. briefly, and right. I like Houston, but Austin has my heart so yeah. far. Yeah, it's nice. beautiful. The sky in Texas yeah. is. Have you been to Texas? I've never been to Texas. You have to go. Yeah. You have to go. Houston and Dallas are on my list. Yes. Austin is the music musical capital of Texas. Like there it. there be so much shit popping out there. Really? Like my favorite thing though, I'm a sky girl. Like I like clouds and stars and shit. Mm-hmm. Texas, hands down, the best sky I've ever seen and everywhere really? I've lived. Yes. What makes it so good? It's a huge ass sky. The mm-hmm. land is so flat in Texas. Mm-hmm. That you can see damn near everything really? for miles. Wow. And then the sky is just huge. Oh, okay. I see. It's beautiful. That's dope. Mm-hmm. Well, they do say everything is bigger in Texas. I haven't tested that theory completely, but. Uh, bing bong. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of things that are big in Texas, absolutely. The buildings. Uh, the buildings. Yes, so. Well, let's talk about you. Yes, so. Oh, yeah. I mean, with, within these past few months from the last time we've seen each other, and mm-hmm. like you said, you graced the presence of this podcast with your presence if that makes sense um since then to now yo you've been going crazy again shout out to jd shout out to major music yeah, that's my major dog music over there. The gang. i mean you've been going crazy two mm-hmm. huge records that have been blowing up head with 3ds yes hea triple d and Absolutely. raw yes um well let's start with head shall we Let's start with head. That's what we should Isn't always proper? start right, with. Right, right. Isn't that proper yes. to start with Just head? Just like Frank said, <laughs> I like my head first. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. Could you have sex without head? Huh? Could you have sex without head? I'm sorry. What'd you say? I don't speak that language. <laughs> What's that, so Japanese? So I'm taking that as a no. You could, uh, no, you could sorry. not have sex without head. I mean, hold on. I mean, I double down because that's a lie. I mean, there's sometimes like if I'm really, really raring to go Uh and I could just like I'm just ready. Yeah, it'd be like that. And I don't need no head. Right, right. right. Cool. But that's rare. Okay. That's like you got to catch me at my most feral fucking moment. Like I don't I don't get like that often. But, you know, head is a it's a must. So is the head for you because you're not ready to go and it gets you to go or you're kind of ready to go, but it gets you even more to go? So, no, neither of those, actually. Oh. I have a very specific reason as to why. Please elaborate. Women are able to come two, di- two types of ways, right? Four, at the least. We'll talk about that later. Anyway, right. for me, it's two yeah, types okay, of ways. I got you, I got you. I got Is you me. talking about anal? I'm talking about clitoral penetration, anal, and nipple. I had a girl come okay. for me sucking her titties. That's not me, baby. She was um, amazing. <laughs> I need a little bit more than just some nipple play. That's kind of crazy. Um... She don't got shout a vibrator. Out, shout out to you. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> this was years ago. Oh, oh my God. Go ahead, go ahead. I didn't mean to derail. I didn't mean to derail your she train. She gonna see that and be like... Ooh. Go ahead. Yeah. She has okay. a family now. I'm weak. <laughs> Why did... <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yo, I can't wait. <laughs> she got a family now. Anyway. What the fuck was I saying, bro? I don't even remember what I was the saying. The different types of coming. Orgasms. Okay, yeah, yeah. Orgasms. Okay, so nip, all of that has to be included. Well, not anal. I got a butt plug not too long ago, but I still haven't tried it because I'm scared. Anal you haven't tried is, it at all? The butt plug, no. Anal, yeah. And it's not. You have, it's not. You've done anal once? 
I've done anal a couple times. So why scared of the butt plug if you've done it a couple I'm times? I'm not scared of the butt plug. I just know how, I feel like I know how it's going to feel because I've tried anal uh -huh. more than once and I hated it. I okay. hated it completely. All right. It feels like, I don't know if I can say that up here. What? Like shit? Like you better say <laughs> shit? Like it's pressurized? What you about to say? It feels it's like. It's an open platform. All right, hold on. I'm going to get a little nasty. It's an open platform. I'm going to get a little nasty. You know when you're on the toilet, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> you know when you're on the toilet? Yeah. Talk to me. <laughs> okay. I'm sure they could. I'm sure they can relate. And you're sitting there and you're having one of the hardest shits in your life, right? Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Not too long ago, actually. But go ahead. You're like playing with it. Like you're trying to get it out. Yeah, like, yeah. you know, moving it up yeah. and down. It feels like that. It oh. feels like I'm playing with a piece of, a piece you know, of shit that's trying to yeah, come out your ass. It don't feel good. But it goes it's back not plush. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Well, maybe after a few more times, you'll learn to like it. No, I'm sorry. I already did it those few times. Well, okay, I'm we'll, good. We'll, we'll speak in the But I'm definitely shit. gonna try the butt plug though. Yeah. Because it's cute. It's got a little gem at the end. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two things with a butt plug. And I'm going to circle back to what this conversation started with. I, I'm good at it this. It started with something else. I'm good with this. Yeah, no, no, I got you. I know what I'm doing. First and foremost, have you seen a butt plug with a gerbil's head at the end? It's a butt plug with a gerbil's head attached to the end, so it looked like a gerbil's in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, wait, 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 wait. I swear to now God. I need to know. I swear to God. How did you come across Twitter? That? That's why I deleted Twitter. Twitter is fucking toxic. <laughs> Gerbil butt no, plug. No, I love Twitter. I love. Twitter. I had to delete it. I understand why you had to delete it. I, I, I grew up on Twitter. I can't get enough of Twitter. Yo, you're, you're not kidding. Nah. So it looked like you know how people put gerbils up their ass. It's a butt and plug it don't even look like an active gerbil. So it looked like you really put a gerbil up your ass. Some Dennis Rodman shit. It looked like the gerbil fell asleep in there. Yeah. Oh no. Would you? Would you try Yo, that? No. No. Why would I? Why would you ask me that first of all? You thought I was gonna say yes? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know your level of freakiness. That's what. I that's just why told we're you here. I was afraid to put a butt plug in, and you think that I. <laughs> That's why I'm we're on here. that. That's why we're here. How about a tail? You know how like some butt yeah. plugs have tails. You me, do a tail? It's funny because me and my girl Lex was just at the sex shop the other day uh -huh. and we saw some some like tail butt plugs yeah. and we saw the specific one, the the pink bunny one. We was you like, do that? Mm, no, I that would definitely dope. do that. Bunny, I would definitely that do that. Dope. Yeah. You gotta make sure your ass clean though, because if it's pink, it can stain quick. Did so. you just quit? I didn't say you ain't. I'm just saying for anyone in general, you gotta make sure your ass clean. How about Always. um the glow, the the light one? Oh, yeah. No, I definitely want that one. After that video of that lady, like, poking her yeah, ass out in yeah, Paris, yeah. after that went viral, oh, what, I was like, was yeah, she, I want was, one. I didn't see that. Was it dark? Was it like a silhouette? It was, it was dark, and at first her dress was just black, uh -huh. and then he put the flash on, yeah. and you could see that Shorty had the light up thing in her booty. Nah, I'm going I'm to send, send you something that's shitting on that. So this one girl I know... Shout out to my homegirl. She's gonna be on the show soon. You about to show me a booty hole? This was a set. So look, this is look, <laughs> look, look, look. It's dark. This Thank is a light. And that's supposed to be. Oh my god. Ain't that dope? Yeah, no, I need one. I need one now. I get I hard every stat. time I see this. Look at this shit. That's in her ass. That's in her ass. Ain't that dope? <laughs> I need she one. The, she get the clapping. Watch. Cause I could tell she was. Yeah, I could tell she was twerking. Ain't that crazy? Yeah, no, I need one. Yeah. I need one bad. Look at this shit, bro. Look at this shit. Ain't that shit hard? That's her ass. That's her ass. Ain't that shit hard? <laughs> <laughs> that shit moving. <laughs> Yo, that shit is crazy. That All shit right. moving for real. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so... um. <laughs> Um, all right, so let's let's uh, let's talk about um, like I mentioned before. You have two records that are really popping in the streets right now: Head yes. with 3Ds uh -huh. and Raw. Yes. Let's start with Head, shall we? Let's do That's it. That's how this came about. I said the same thing. Boom. You're right. Um, all right, so why does it have 3Ds, Head? Um, because it's just a different type of head. If you're just giving that regular head with 1D, mm -hmm. it's possible that you can run into the same type of situation I was telling you about earlier. What's a good time limit? on giving head for a man to a woman before we really knock boots. I've made a nigga give me head for about two hours before. Really? Yeah. Did I just held it because it felt so good. Did y'all fuck then, afterwards? Yeah, okay. absolutely. You know, okay. he has stamina. Okay. Two hours. Two hours. Wowzers. 
wow yeah no his his mouth hurt for a little bit yeah after. your yeah. jaw hurt the bottom of your tongue that line yeah, that connects your tongue to your sore. jaw that shit will be sore uh-huh. like yeah your mouth gonna be dry he was down for the cause did though. he take water breaks no no breaks two hours with no water breaks hey shout out to you brother yeah shout out to you <laughs> all right well um speaking ahead with three d's uh-huh. um uh-uh. Let's start there, shall we? Because uh-huh. what I want to do first and foremost is I want to dive into a certain uh, lyric that you had. Oh my God, he's pulling out his reading glasses. What? Is- <laughs> I want to dive into what? a. I want to dive into a certain lyric. <clears throat> oh no. Which is really like the uh, the hook, if you would. Uh huh. So on your hit record head, your hook goes, "I'm a throat goat, throat <laughs> I goat." Knew he was gonna- Throat goats, throat goats. Mm-hmm. Oh, you missed some. Are, are you gonna keep reading them? I'm gonna just start there. We'll get to the rest there's later. Because t- there's more throat goat. Okay, yeah. so all right. How many more left? Like four. I, I believe so. Throat goats, throat goats, mm-hmm. throat goat, and throat, throat goat. goat. Yeah. Okay, so we have six to eight throat goats. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. I have a few questions behind that. I, I'm all ears. First of which, is that self-proclaimed? Uh, yeah, I wrote the song about it, didn't I? Well, uh, that's not necessarily a good thing. Okay, why, though? I don't get that. Self-proclaimed. Did you label yourself the throat goat? Oh. Has, everyone, has anyone ever called you the throat goat? I've had most of people call me the throat goat. Call you the throat goat? Yeah. Well, not like word for word, yeah, bar but, for bar. But yeah, but saying... Like, along those lines. If we call a chick a throat goat, we mean it. Yeah. I've called two women... You know what someone has told me before? What? I suck dick like I'm ugly. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's throat goat. That is. That's throat goat shit. That is. <laughs> if a dude say that, that's I just got crowned throat goat. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said that I suck dick like I'm ugly. I said, oh, is that Holy so? Holy shit. Yeah. It makes so much sense. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Cause I done caught some neck from some joints that swallowed me whole, like they haven't eaten in weeks. Toes curl. But I, I, just, I, I didn't want to hit. That's a throat goat. Wow. You've encountered throat goats. Wow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal that. Yeah. I've had, I've had three women my whole life that Don't I've labeled. Don't you tell nobody that. <laughs> what? I'm not gonna say what I got. Whoa, what? Like you suck. Well, I have to make. Well, she gonna be pretty. Cause I felt some type of way. Not gonna lie. Like I know it was a compliment, yeah, but the way yeah, it was yeah, positioned, yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, wait, yeah. hold on. What is because he you're being labeled with ugly in some type yeah, of way? Yeah, I was like, wait, excuse form. me. Yeah. Okay. Now I get that. I'm, I'm definitely stealing it. But I'm gonna make sure she's pretty if I say it though. But I'm definitely stealing that. All right. So you hold okay. on. You okay. just say you gonna make sure that the bitch you fucking is pretty if you are gonna say that. Yeah. So that means you fuck ugly bitches too. At this point in my life, I don't. No, okay. fuck no. I just said earlier, I've got head from uh-huh. a woman that I didn't fuck. Okay, so you be getting head from the ugly bitches. I have. I'm not going to say be as in present tense. I have. Past tense. I know, not ugly. Just, I'm not... Wait. <laughs> <Hold> <laughs> say it again and say nah, it again. No, 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 Because I'm all about quality. <laughs> yeah. I've gotten... Maybe not ugly, just... Okay. I didn't want to hit it. Okay. I've gotten head from a woman and I've left it at that. Like women that only sucked me up and that was that. I've had that. Okay, but why though? They wasn't good enough to fuck? That's that's what I'm trying to... Correct. Okay. Okay, Correct. so you only got head from ugly bitches. That doesn't mean she was ugly. She could have been slightly below just, average. Ugly is like three. She could have been like a four five. I just... But she wasn't good enough to fuck though. Is what to she's my saying. standards, yes. Right, so she wasn't good looking enough to you. Yeah. Okay! Yeah. Niggas. I mean, I didn't want to admit it, but Niggas. fuck. I don't know why you had to pull that out of me, but fuck, you're right. You talk about you, doctor. D- Listen, I'm doctor. I'm in the house. Doctor what? Doctor Niece? Doctor Niecy. Nur- nursey Niecy? Yeah. Ooh, Nursey Niecy. That's cute. Have That's you ever done cute. role play in a nurse outfit? <laughs> Let me just say this, because y'all heard me give it an idea. If you do it on your OnlyFans, I just ask for 10%. Yeah. I just ask for 10%. If you pull up on your OnlyFans no. as Nursey Nisi, I just ask for 10%. Simple. Yo. Simple. Listen. I'm a simple man. I just ask for 10%. I'm not asking for half. I can't even. I'm not trying to ditty you and give you a 360. No, I just want 10%. I can't even, bro. That's it. That's uh, it. I mean, That's what it. if I've already done that, though? You haven't. Have you? You you said you did your research. Wallahi. Have you? Wallahi. 
You have it. <laughs> I can tell why she looked at me. She has it. Nah, nah. It's it's so funny because I have. <laughs> you have nurse. <laughs> yeah, and a whole. Well, you didn't have the name nurse. Well, no, Nisha. it wasn't. It wasn't a nurse fit. It was technically a doctor fit. Doctor fit. Yeah. Okay. Well, nurse is more. Nurses. Erotic. I, you know, I haven't done nurse. Yeah, nurse is more erotic. Why is that more erotic? I don't know. It's like nurse. Like what is that? And what? teacher and Daphne. Daph what or Velma from Scooby Doo? Velma. Vel Velma's like up there as far as like kinky outfits. That was the nerd, Hold on. right? With that the glasses. Movie? That movie where she got the makeover and her thangs was thangin'. Child. I'm trying to tell you, Velma as like a kinky outfit is oh, yeah. up there. Oh yeah. You know, I, I definitely understand that because Velma and Daphne, they were two of my first girl crushes when I was growing up. Really? Yeah. Cause I, I always imagined them. Hooking up in the in a Scooby Doo van, they probably did. You know them hippies. They was they was freaks. I mean, yeah, I wasn't even thinking about them doing it in the the van. Oh, just in general. I like was thinking about off. you know you know like like they they got a victory at the end where they unmasked. Mm -hmm. I feel like they be they be. Oh, celebra celebratory uh -huh, section. Uh huh. They them types of freaks. That's hard. They don't have to go in the van. Yeah. They gonna fuck Outside. in front of the nigga that j they just unmasked. Really? So he's tied up on the mags. Right. Watching them right fuck. after him saying, "You meddling kids," just. It's like you know what? Maybe y'all ain't so meddling. That part. That's all right. What y'all doing? That part. Yeah. I'll do it for him. Yeah. Lift her leg up some more. <laughs> yeah. Stop it. That's hard. That's hard. I could picture that. That's some that. freaky shit, ain't it? Yeah, so it's a lot. It's a the Velma Halloween costume is increasing. I watched a porno with a with a chick that was dressed as Velma. It was dope. It was dope. Mm. All right, let's get back to throat goat. <laughs> you had, you said you had a question about throat goat. The first one was the triple D. The yeah. second one I think was was it self proclaimed. Right. Um. Okay. So if you're the throat goat. Okay. I have a few throat goats I want to throw out there. I don't want you to tell me if you're better than them or not. <sighs> Okay. Superhead, Lorraine Stefan. Because <clears throat> she's proclaimed as, from multiple sources, as the throat goat. But I'm see, it's different because y'all don't know my sources. Well, mm. could you call up a source and have them... Call up a source right now? Ahora? Yeah. Mm. No. If you will, I will. <laughs> I don't I don't talk to anyone that I've ever done anything with anymore. Good for you. I can't I physically can't do it. I'm a Capricorn. Once we're done, we're done, baby. No pictures See, on my phone, no nothing. So Zodiac shit. You don't believe in it? I mean I do, but that's uh, you can't say I don't talk to people because I'm a Capricorn. That's just one reason. Because I'm sure there's hundreds and thousands and millions of Capricorns that do are are attached to people. No that Capricorn they... that I know is. Wait, Capricorns December to December January. Mm -hmm. You know what? I know we don't play them fucking games. I know some games. fucked up Capricorns. Y'all are fucked up. All right. I'm continue. sorry. Excuse me. In a good way. Y'all just y'all just y'all just y'all just like y'all um you know uh solid. Y'all just we're like, very specific. Yeah. We I, like solid everything damn near almost. Are you a bigger throat goat than Lorraine Stephan? I mean, I can't. I I you know I don't want to. I'm a girl's girl. Shit. So. Is that that is that like that thing that way I say I'm just a girl? Is that one of those? No, I'm a girl's girl means I support girls. I'm not a hater. Okay. I'm not a mean girl. No, I, I mean, listen, comp, friendly competition. <clears throat> because who's to say she say it and be like, okay, let's have a showdown. That's pay per view. That's that's Patreon. That's OnlyFans um, exclusive. She might. I, I'm going to give it to her. I'm going to give it to her. She's not going to sue you for de give defamation it to of character. Because you it know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a throat goat. Uh, but I'm still a good girl at the same time. So, you know, it's not it's not too much that I've let out the cage. Yeah, well, good girls be I'm the biggest I'm a mysterious freaks. type of girl, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those be the biggest freaks. The you good... can't really let it completely out, especially if you don't like that nigga enough to do it. Well, what you if know? you do? When do? What will it take? Okay. What will it take for you to let it completely out? I need to be able to trust you. In Not what way? just every way, financially, mentally, emotionally, physically, provider wise. Can I trust you with money? Can I trust you with yourself? Can I trust you with me if I needed you? Like, I can't give away too, too much to a nigga that I know in my mind is about to be temporary. You know what I'm saying? Mm. And I've had too many of that. What gives you hints towards this is going to be temporary? 
the way he acts, the way he talks. Like, so what I'll focus on is how he acts when he's upset mm-hmm. or how he acts towards his family or how he talks to his mom. That's big. How he handles money, how he handles having a job or not having a job. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you yeah. got to observe stuff like that because you yeah. can't. Mm-mm. It makes sense. It yeah. Makes sense. All right, so sexually giving yourself up all the way doesn't really have to do with just the sexual aspect from the man, is what you're saying. Yeah, no, because it's an energy swap at the end of the day, it if is. you're keeping it real. It like, is. you can't you can't swap energy with it's, just anybody. It's voodoo. Right. Jesus. You walking voodoo. around wondering why your life is going to shit, and uh-huh. you just fuck that bum over there who don't want nothing good for you, yeah. has horrible energy towards you, secretly jealous of you, all that yeah. stuff. Like, come on now. Yeah, that's why I only, at this point in my life especially... I only mess with chicks that got something to lose. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Only. Oh, yeah. Because they own their shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but, yo, it's an older joint in the building behind us. She like me. She mm, in her, like, 40s or 50s. You. She probably, like, in her 50s. Because she was walking her dog, and I finally caught up to her. We talking, and she was all fiddling. She was stumbling her words and oh, you shit. You got her nervous. I'm like, yeah, I got her. Mm-hmm. Huh? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Once I. Yeah. Once I come up to him, yeah. I had purpose in that Oh, I've been yeah. seeing her. Yeah, I've been seeing her walk her little shit too. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a, I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to catch her thick ass one day. I was walking Desi one day and see, this is another thing. Desi's good with other dogs. Yeah. So Desi was good with her dog. She got a boy. Desi's real submissive. So Desi was laying down, letting the boy look. She's like, oh my God, other dogs are so mean to him. I'm like, nah, you know, Desi cool. She chill. What's your dog name? What's your name at that? Mm. And then boom. And boom. There it go. Snap the trap. Miss. Miss, Snap the damn Miss trap. Miss Erica. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Yo. Yo. <laughs> Steve Nash over there, Yo. nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, what the fuck? All right. <laughs> She's like, hold on, they talking me up. It's my time. What's yeah. up? What y'all talking about? I'm weak. Um, I haven't. Should I listen to that? Yeah. You should. Old lady? That's, that's exactly the description of what you just talked about. Yes. <laughs> you should definitely listen to oh, it. Okay, I'm listening yeah. to that. I'm listening yeah. to that. I'll send it to you. I got but, it on my... Yeah, I'll send but, it to you. <laughs> yeah? Mm-hmm. But I listen. I, I like all ages. I mean, mm-hmm. I like 20... I like... See, I'm 29. I could do like 24. Four twenty-five and up, because I've always attracted older women as it was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like since yeah. I was bro, I mean, I was a freshman in high school, and it was like this badass junior joint that liked me. I ain't have my confidence then, so I'm like, why do you like me? She was Aww. trying to turn me out. I didn't know, I, and I didn't want to embarrass myself, bro. She yeah. was, and then when I went to the another school, when I went to meet, I'm in tenth grade at the time. It was this senior joint. She will pull me out of class, like make out with me in the halls. I'm like, yo, why do y'all order joints? I didn't get it at the time. So I've always, and then when I was like 14, you out of class. I, I hooked up with this one um, lady. She was like in her late 30s. So I've always attracted older women. So like mm-hmm. for me to mess with a joint that's younger than me, you got to really be banging. Yeah. I say that to say, let me ask you a question. Okay. Because we got a little off track. My fault. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anise, the throat goat. Let's do this. Let's give awesome. some pointers onto giving goat status head. Okay. So, um, yeah. giving throat goat status head mm-hmm. doesn't just mean that, you know, you're focusing on the shaft, right? So, you got to make sure that you get him prepped and ready first by making sure you take care of the. You know, mm. little, little coin sack. Do you, you know go what I'm straight? Saying? Do you go straight for the balls? I mean, no, I kiss my way down first. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I kiss my way down. Nice. Ladies, I hope y'all listening, fellas. I hope y'all are <laughs> making y'all ladies listen. Yeah, I got y'all. Cause, cause you got to do foreplay. You know, you can't just yeah. go straight down there. Like yeah. I know some niggas who don't mind, but you know, if, I, if I, I like to put moment, on a show. But if it's, yeah. yeah. So you got to make sure to fondle the balls, cause that's that's important. Yes. Do not leave them alone. What I like to do is making sure that my tongue is stuck out while I'm doing whatever I'm doing. Because that's going to give me more room in my mouth to fit you everywhere. You know what I'm saying? And that opens up the throat more so that you can deep throat it. Even if you're bad at it, Mm -hmm. like deep throating, Mm -hmm. if you have your tongue out, Mm -hmm. it makes it easier. Yeah. 
That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not giving y'all all my fucking. They gotta subscribe, right? To get past the fuck. That. Absolutely. All right, so that, those those were great points. Those were great points. Yeah, I haven't gotten any complaints. You said I haven't gotten any complaints? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, all right, so the tongue out and visual too. Yeah. If I look down and your tongue out and you looking up at me. Yeah. Get yeah. the coffee. I'm creaming. It's yeah. I like eye contact. Yeah. Uh, see. Yeah. See. Especially if I know that the guy likes me more than I like him. Yeah. If you give him eye contact, I like to he's give done eye contact. for. Yeah. He's done for. Rot Because especially if I'm tired, like, nigga, come on, hurry up. <laughs> I'm going to just hit you with this sex appeal and then you, ugh, you know what I'm saying? You know how like they say like <laughs> men can talk women through a nut? Not for me, but yeah, I heard that before. But you've heard it before, right? Yeah. I'm not saying like we're not fucking. I'm just literally talking to you. But if if we're fucking, like it can boost if I'm telling yeah, you the right yeah, shit. That's yeah, what I mean by yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, It does it's, help. The same is done with women. Oh, I know. Those four words, mm-hmm. those four words are voodoo. Y'all know what four words I'm talking about. I know about. exactly what four words Come you're talking about. Come at me, daddy. About. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Mm-hmm. I've never heard that and didn't bust. I, I could be so far away. Because y'all say that, that's like a, all right, white we'll checkered flag, final yeah. lap. Like, let's let's do this shit. Y'all, yeah. Like, that's y'all cute. I hope you know we don't really mean to, you know. But y'all can't keep fucking around with that shit, though. That's what I'm saying. It's just, we y'all, know how it makes y'all feel. So, you know, that's why we say it. Y'all but... say and do shit to try to get us nut, but then when we nut, y'all be upset. I mean, not if you're nothing when I want you to nut. If you're nothing too early, then yeah, I'm gonna be upset. But if I'm saying mm-hmm. come at me, daddy, mm-hmm. that means I'm 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 ready for ready. it. Go yeah, ahead. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Give yeah, it yeah. to me. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I ain't gonna get mad. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. Yeah, that don't make no sense getting mad if you're asking for it. Yeah. What's going yeah. on? It's it's def- <laughs> it's definitely voodoo. Yeah. Especially if you're hitting a raw segue. I wonder why though. Like, why does that get y'all going so much? What like, those four words? Yeah, like what is it about it that's like I don't know. Moans and words does a lot more to us than yeah. you can imagine. Especially like, if you say it right, too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that like makes sexy sense. ass moans. And yeah. then there's like the moans is, is music to our ears. Mm-hmm. You know? Excuse me. Speaking of music to you, to our ears, um, I want to ask you something. Okay. Do you have a freak list? As in a freak playlist. Like what? That I that I have sex to? Mm-hmm. No. You don't? No. I want one. You should create one. <laughs> I mean, is that a thing you do on a regular? Do you fuck to music? No, I don't fuck to music. I want to. Have I've you? Tr- yeah, I've done it before. Okay. And it hits different. It hits, it hits real different. It does. Like, especially when you listen to the right, like, slow jam, like, for real baby making music. Like, I don't listen to none of that shit from today's time. Like, it's got to be 90s, Well, let's do this 80s. to dig a little bit more into your uh, choice of music. Uh-huh. Let's give a top three songs that you would fuck to. Can I Call You Rose? I would definitely have some wow. love-making sex yeah, that's love to making. that song. Yeah, that's yes. impregnating, yeah. <laughs> Maybe not impregnating. <laughs> life, not man. that far. It's life. It's okay, life. so yeah, Can I Call You Rose? Mm-hmm. I'm going to be a little cliche here, but let's get it on. By Marvin Gaye? Yes. Oh, yeah, you are old school. It's it's a classic. Like, yeah, that is. shit is, like, that's some old school fucking, you know what, what I'm saying? What you say on baby boy? Marvin, please believe. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll say one modern one. Okay. One that always gets me going. Uh-huh. Take You Down. By Chris Brown. Yes. And that's a good one because it's slow, but it still has some beats that you can really like get yeah. listen to. Like and no bullshit with him and Fat Joe. I don't recall that song. Don't you be on that bullshit, yeah, yeah. Don't you be on that bullshit, yeah, yeah. My mind is blank. You don't know that song? Great vocals, but my mind is blank. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have that's to do, nothing. I was do my research. That's nothing. Okay, so maybe you should create a <laughs> playlist starting with those three songs, and then you know. Take it from we there. can go from there, yeah, because yeah. there's some Lucky Day songs that I would definitely fuck to. Some what songs? Lucky Day. Lucky Day? I love that man. Lucky Day, that's an artist? Yes. I'm very stubborn with music, so I don't know a lot of music. Lucky Day. You need, listen. Is that worth I, putting Every time my I playlist? come here, every, did you put the, the songs that I recommended to you before on your playlist? I don't know. What We're going to have a recommend? problem. Do you want to look at my playlist? We're going to have a problem. There. Yeah, that's what I got. Maybe it's on there. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I definitely don't have no nigga named Lucky Day on there. Nah. You do you have Frank Ocean up here? I got like one or two Frank Ocean songs. Is that good or bad? 
Do you see how I'm looking at you right now? <laughs> That's bad. Well, I what don't know is which this? Ones, do you only know. listen to like rap and shit? Why is your playlist so short? It's not short. It's like oh, this is the freak playlist. Yeah, that's the freak playlist. Okay, okay, okay. I okay, thought that was my right. music playlist. I thought that was your whole playlist. Nah, Who's gonna f- have so many? Problems? Nah, that's the freak playlist. You I'm, never trust I'm, a nigga with a short ass playlist. I'm, I'm asking your <laughs> opinion on a freak playlist. I like okay. the chain, the MM on the goat. Thank you, thank you. You know I rep the Carolinas. You know what the fuck is going on? Major. That's what you These are talk. okay. I'm gonna say that these are good. Fucking songs. There's oh. a few love making songs in here too, so that's good. Gives us some variety. You, you gotta, gotta sprinkle, sprinkle it in. in. Cause you can't just always be trying to kill the pussy, you know nah, what I'm saying? You gotta nah, you gotta slow stroke it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow yeah, strokes yeah. is dangerous. Some of these that's are rap songs though, no. Huh? You can fuck the rap songs? Like what? What rap songs I got on there? I see like YG up here and No, that Kevin song Gates is nah, that song is hard. Schoolboy nah. Q. No, 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 no. <laughs> what sexy shit they make? The, like, the, the YG joint, the YG and Quavo joint is called uh um Hold damn. on, I just saw it. Can you play it? It's hooked up to the joint. You can YG, play it. YG, hold on, let me play go the back YG to it. joint. Let me go back. Cuz ain't gonna play with my playlist. Okay, it's called Slay. Yeah, Slay, play it. And it skips like the music. I mean the middle. Is it playing? Skip to like the middle of the joint. Okay. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. That sounds nah, different from nah, what I just nah, heard. Nah, nah. Hold she on. Why does song start off like a because rap song? Because they have to, I don't know. They have to build the anticipation. I can't fuck to this. You can't fuck to this? No. Should I take it out? I can't. You should fuck. You should All take right. this out. <laughs> I can't fuck to this. It's just too much like. If we are fucking like if if it's some like R and B like Usher you know uh-huh. I, I I I I would love to fuck the Frank Ocean. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Chris Brown, Lucky Day. So what does it t- like? Some pointers for me and for the listeners. You some need like a good R and B. A good R and B. Yeah, cause okay. like the rap like. Well, I thought like a good little medium up tempo would be decent. I, I you know what I mean. No. Nah. Not for me. I I can't do like a. Well, was the rest cool? You said it was good. The rest was cool. Yeah, the rest is good. The rest is good. I just don't know what the fuck you was thinking when you put that shit up there. I'm not gonna hold you. Brent Fayez has a lot of good fuck to music. It's crazy too, cause he he, he a little toxic. Well, y'all like that shit. Do y'all? Not? We love it. Yeah, but it, we love it when we're not with that person. <laughs> and I mean, he a good That's singer. A so what am I supposed to say? That's a fact. <laughs> That is a fact. He okay, since nigga. you mentioned that, I have a take on that. Okay. So my take, since you said the toxic chick, you love it when you're not with them. As in yeah. friends with benefits, sneaky link, fuck buddy, whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong. Side dudes, friends with benefits, whatever you want to call it, get the best sexual benefits. Do you agree or disagree and why or why not? Sexual and, benefits like what? And Threesomes. Because if it's your man, I've heard this so many times where women, she's like, nah, I don't want to share my man. But if it's a sneaky link, she wouldn't mind sharing him in a threesome or a situation like that. I've heard it so many times. Because the extra deep feelings get involved with a dude that she really likes. So she's like, no, I don't want to share him. But if it's just lust, yeah, then she don't mind sharing him. I mean, I understand that. I don't mind having threesomes with somebody that I'm like with with. Well, you're a little different. Right. Freak. Yeah. Type shit. Yeah. But um I, I don't know. I mean I I think I've had some nasty sex with sneaky sneaky links, but I've also had some real nasty sex with people that I've actually been with. So I don't know if it really I'm not talking about the really, one-on-one aspect. I'm talking about outside like a of whole that. threesome. Yeah, I'm talking about in that in that aspect, not just the one on one. Because one on one I think y'all get more comfortable to do that you really like. Yeah. And more things are open to, That's true. you know, to bring to the table. That's true. I mean, I probably had the steamiest threesome that I've ever had with people that I I wasn't with, like, romantically. Because it just made it a little bit easier, you mm-hmm. know? Like, one girl I was, I was just friends with, and then her boyfriend was like, you know, if you want to do it with her, you know, I got to be. And I was like, okay. Mm-hmm. And it was fun because it's like, yeah, I can go home after this. Like, I'm mm-hmm. I'm chilling. That's yep. your nigga. Yeah. I'm going to go you home. You leave all the dirty stuff on the table. It's extra spontaneous exactly. and all that. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I've only had one threesome, but it was with two girls. It was on vacation. All of us met at the destination. And it was the most lit shit ever because we were able to leave it on the table. 
as opposed to one of a now afterwards one called Phyllis for no me more. and she was like I don't know about doing it again but I was like see that's that shit yeah you what gotta be you careful say? you can't really do that shit no more do what just meeting somebody and this fucking. was 20 that's scary 19 this was right before COVID yeah I need papers yeah that's true Oh, I for sure rolled the dice in, in that hand. situation. I for sure rolled the yeah. dice in that situation. You lucky to be alive, nigga. Made it out blessed. <laughs> but they wasn't bums. See, like I said before, I deal with quality. Yeah. Like, they didn't even look like the type of chicks that would be with that shit. I mean, yeah. but, but, you know, but then again, you Some can never... Some of the prettiest bitches be... Yeah, filthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking filthy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got to be careful with that I shit. I love it. You got to be careful. I fucking love it. I can't imagine doing... I, I tried casual sex back in my college years. Mm-hmm. Like, I've stopped doing that so long ago. Like, I, I'm i scared. I can't... Yeah. Good for you. Good I for don't you. know what y'all... Mm-mm. Yeah, yeah, good for you. Well, casual raw sex, at least, right? Casual sex, period. Okay. Well, speaking of raw, we use it as a segue. Yeah. Um, your record, Raw. Mm-hmm. First question, how did that come about? Well, because everybody likes it raw. I mean, how did you get here? Bing bong. How did everybody in this room get here? Raw? Raw. 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 Girl. Raw. Bust the condom. All right. He said, the, the condom. condom. <laughs> Through the condom. <laughs> so listen, even though they didn't want it raw, they got it raw anyway. And look who here. Come on now. Everybody oh, like shit. it raw. Everybody That's the record that resonates with everybody. Shit. Yeah. I was, I was conceived on Valentine's Day. That's some freaky shit. Oh, boy. All right, so continue. So you're saying everyone likes raw. So Everyone likes it raw. Uh-huh. Yeah. They like raw cones, raw sex. You know, a bad bitch always got to eat raw sushi sometimes. You know, mm. from time to time. That shrimp tempura. Listen, that should be busting. Yeah, dude. Okay, what you know about that sushi? I love sushi, figuratively okay. and literally. Figuratively. Yeah. Oh, the cat. Yeah. Okay. So sushi. I don't like that correlation, fish and kushi. I I've always hated that. Well, it, well, I, we don't say it as even though it is talking about fish. It's just raw. Sushi is raw, yeah. so that's what okay. we think of it. Okay, no, okay. I hate I hate fish too. Yeah, because like when I think of sm- fish, I think of the smell. So whenever I think of someone saying like, "Oh yeah, I ate that uh, that that fishy pussy," like niggas they can say, say some that? crazy stuff. Wait, niggas say they ate fishy pussy. Bruh. If I call a pussy fishy, I'm saying it's fishy as in it's stunk. And it smelled like fish. And you still admit that you ate it? If I say, no, I've never ate. Never. (laughs) Every real nigga does that finger test, first and foremost. Y'all don't even be knowing it. Y'all don't even be knowing it. Oh, I, listen, it's so funny because y'all niggas really think that y'all got to figure the fuck out. We're going to notice when you're trying to sniff us out, nigga. Like, right, well, y'all cool. really be thinking y'all we subtle as fuck. Y'all are not. We don't care if y'all know. Y'all are not. We don't, you should be confident <laughs> enough to be like, go ahead, nigga, take a whip. Matter of fact, here, give that's me, put why, it in my nose. That's why I'm able to be so observant because I'm so confident. I'm, I'm not I'm not tripping. Mm-hmm. I, I, I literally am watching you do exactly what you do. I, I know what mm-hmm. y'all do to sniff. And then when you're looking that way, we... Yeah. I know what y'all do to sniff. I'll be looking right at y'all and well, I'll be like, yeah, smell good don't it you should say that that yeah. will turn us on oh yeah have you ever said that for real i have i have you should that's just that's, once yeah that'll turn us on that'll just turn once. us on I had, I had crazy kanye confidence that day yeah yeah it was i've only done that once in my that's, life that's, and he that's looked a, at me like oh my god that's attractive to us i mean why not like talking like you you got him in your hands why not mm. i want to do something with your raw record i have a game called raw or Naw. so i'm gonna lay somebody out and you let me know if you will go raw with them or nah. Let's go. Are you ready? I'm ready. Hell yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> since your number three song on your freak playlist was Take Me Down, we're going to start with Chris Brown. Raw. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I said that too quick. <laughs> yeah. You've been, wait, you been waiting for that one. All right. Future. Um, nah. Nah? I feel like he, uh... <laughs> He be trying to ruin bitches' lives. I can't. Yeah. Well, y'all, Love him, y'all, like, I, mm. y'all like that toxic chick, don't it? Nah, right. bro. You gonna <laughs> fuck my life up. All right. <laughs> uh, the baby. Nah. Okay. Nah. I look at him. He look. He look like a family member of mine. So I look at him more like like That'll broski. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. He okay. look like a family member. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. No. Why does everybody think that he is so fine? I can't see it. No. Okay. Right. Can you tell me? No. So you're the first woman I've ever heard say that. All right. Mm-mm. Trace I'm on. the first woman? You're the first woman I've ever heard say that. They lying. Yeah. They lying like fuck. All 
All right, Trey Songs. No. Nah. <laughs> All right. Drake. Drizzy Drake. Ah! I can't. Why you bring <laughs> Why you bring him up? Raw or no? Nah? Um <laughs> No. Nah. And no disrespect, but no. All right. <laughs> no problemo. Yeah. Um Flavor Flav. <laughs> I mean, he got like 20 kids. Yo, Someone wasn't wrong. What's role. crazy is I was just re-watching the first season of Flavor Flav. Yeah. I love it. Flavor Flav. Flav. That's my yeah, nigga, bro. Boy. He's, yeah, I mean, boy. He's a great dude. <laughs> yeah. So, bro? He seemed like he was a nice guy. Like, yeah. you know, he seemed he was nice. Um, I'm sorry, but no. Nah. Nah. Like, I would want to sit. I want. I would want to go to dinner with him. Like, I would want to hear him spit. Like, okay. I would want him to tell me about his life. Like, okay. I don't. You don't want his penis. Wrong. No. Okay. <laughs> I don't. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, I respect all. it. That's my. That's. I'm not gonna say that. But you know, I respect it. All right. Hey. 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 Okay. Let's see who else do we have on this list. Oh God. Why are there more? All right. Last one. For raw. Or no. Nah. Okay. Stephen Curry. <laughs> Steph Curry. I say Stephen. Steph Curry. <sighs> That's difficult because he looks like one of my actor crushes. Mike Beasley. Yeah. He okay, looked like so him boom. a little bit. Mike Beasley. Raw or no? Nah? Yeah, raw, raw, yeah. Raw, Mike Beasley. Yeah. I was thinking of saying him too, because I'm like, <laughs> she has a thing for light skin dudes. He got no, I don't I don't care if you light skin or dressing, he's got pretty eyes. Oh, so you're a thing for you have a thing for eyes. Looking at you like Woo. You know it's crazy. Woo. Yesterday, two days ago, I thought to myself, "That was Mike Michael Beasley on Barbershop." I didn't know this all this time. Yeah, yeah, that cornrows. is him. Yeah, and he was younger. I had no fucking clue. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. He's got bedroom eyes, like fuck. Yeah. Like, ooh. Leave, leave it in eyes. Mm. Tell him to leave it in eyes. All right. I'm not gonna say too much. All right. Um. <clears throat> so that's all I have for the raw and all. Thank shout God. out! Shout out! To- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right, yeah, right over there. Shout out to Raw. Shout uh-huh. out, to, shout out to Head. Uh, right. Both great records. First off, let's say Thank this: you. Where can people find those at? On so they can find them anywhere they play music from: uh, Apple, Spotify, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I believe Pandora. YouTube on major yeah. music uh, YouTube channel, right? Major music, the label. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, and it's Raw. How many W's on the Raw? Two. Oh no, baby, just one. Just one. Just one. one it only nine. take one time to hit it, it right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. One W right. in a row, three D's in the head. Right. Uh, before we get out of here, JD mentioned that you had a surprise. Can we speak on that? Well, is that a surprise meant for camera or off camera? No, I feel like I could tell y'all. Please do. So, first off, definitely want to shout out one or two jams. Fat G's, Big Mo, Special K. They're actually breaking my record, H-E-A, Triple D, head. Mm -hmm. They're going to break it up there, um, and they're the first radio station to break it. Hey, Mm -hmm. can we give it up for that? Mm -hmm. Can we give it up for that? And you heard it here first on Day by Motherfucking Day. Shout out to you yes, for that. Yes, shout yes. out to you for putting in the work and shout out for JD as well for putting in the work. I know yes. y'all, I, I'm, I'm behind the scenes watching y'all work as a team and it's very inspirational. Every time I see JD, you know, every time he sends me something and, you know, it's it's to do with the marketing and just the work that he's putting in, I tell him all the time, yo, you are that motherfucking guy. Oh, yeah, like, he definitely is. I, I don't know where I would be without him. Like, yeah. he's just... Because like you said, you everything. it hasn't even been a full year since it you've been doing been music. It hasn't been a full year. And I mean, you're taken off Mm -hmm. but that goes to show that marketing is everything oh yeah one of the best quotes i heard was you can have a you can have a bomb ass product but if you don't have good marketing you don't have a product right because nobody's gonna see it absolutely and Mm -hmm. today is all about marketing oh absolutely all about marketing social media in person you know i think word of mouth marketing is still always going to be king oh yeah so to have both having physical interactions with people yeah. that'll always take the cake yeah but absolutely. absolutely yeah 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 well um what else are you getting into while you out here oh you know i've been busy i've been As working be. and hustling we just getting it in you go. know the songs are just overflowing yeah. okay i yeah. can't wait to release what i need to release yeah <clears throat> Y'all probably heard it on one or two jams a couple of days ago. I took over that radio station. I'm yeah. not gonna hold you. What yeah. as far as far as a unreleased track? 
So yeah, so they they did play raw. They play head. Y'all oh, y'all heard it. You yeah. know they they played it on the radio before, yeah. um, but they actually played my uh, everybody cover. Oh, the one we was playing earlier. That shit yeah, was hard. Yeah. Oh, that you thought so? Yeah. Thank yeah, that you. Shit was hard. That shit was hard. Yeah, you know people like to think that all I can do is twerk. Uh-huh. I wanted to make sure that they understood that this mouth work too. Not like that. I was right. Let's calm down. I was I was I was going to see if you was going to correct it. Down. If not, I was going to throw you the oop. But you did it. But like you know, I, I nah. spit, I yeah. spit, because yeah. I feel like it's important to, because you know, twerking and having fun, that's important. Mm-hmm. I'm a bad bitch. You're mm-hmm. not going to tell me I can't twerk. I'm yeah. grown. Yeah. So doing that, that's just and a natural given. Natural too. I saw right. the video. It, it's like BBL it's wear. Very natural. Mm-hmm. No BBL. What for? Yeah, that's you a understand? flex. That's a flex right, today. a big flex. Not a lot of bitches can say that. Nope. And it's funny too, cause all my bitches can say that too. Hey, I don't well, hello. Shout out to the naturals. Yes. I love naturals. Oh yeah. I've had a BB, BBL before, you but I, I didn't know it was a BBL until afterwards. Until was during. the booty hard like concrete? No, she spent good money on it. Okay. Good money on it. That okay. shit. Yeah, she. Spent if, good it moved like water. Yes. Cause I'm I'm giving her a massage. Her I'm giving her a massage. I ain't asked her. I'm giving her a massage. My thing is the massage. I'm gonna give you a massage. I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna get that thing nice and melted and marinated. Yeah. I'm giving her a massage. I'm like, yo, women pay for your ass. And she was like, I'm not gonna last BBL. I was like, damn, like it looks very good. It's very, it feels good. It's a good thing you didn't notice that it was a BBL. Exactly. Exactly. So she is yeah, not. Yeah, she yeah. she so got that, some good work yeah. done. Shout out to her for that. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Well, um, BBL or natural? Shout out to y'all. Shout out to you, Anise. Yes. Of course. Spinning yes, the block course, on a day by day podcast. Of course, of course. You know what I mean? Um, I, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciate you for, you know what I'm saying, sparing your time while y'all here in Charlotte because you're yes. in Texas now. You know and, I had to make some time for you. Come yeah, on now. Yeah, yeah. It's always a great vibe. Like always. this shit was natural. I think we only covered like two or three of the like six bullets I had. That means it was a good natural show. Period. Very organic. Um, we just have good banter. Yeah, it nah, just for works. Real, for yeah. real. We're gonna have to next time it's gonna be with someone else. I'm doing a thing where I have three people on. Yeah. I actually wanted my homegirl Callie. Shout out to Kelly. I wanted her on, but she had a party to obtain too. I told her to get that motherfucking chicken. Yeah, you never told me about that. her last time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So definitely I, looking forward to meeting her. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna make that happen one day. Shout out to everybody in attendance. Shout out to JD. Shout out yeah. to your homegirls again. Yes, my girl Lexi, my girl Vaughn. Vaughn. Go big Lexi. Yes. Shout out to Vaughn Vaughn. Um, shout out to everybody tuning in, whether you're watching or listening on your respective podcast platform. This mm-hmm. is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify. No more Google Podcasts. They shut that down. But YouTube, uh-huh. if you're listening, make sure you go ahead and tune in to YouTube so you can catch the visuals. You definitely want to catch the visual in these. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? She's something worth looking at. I'm so gleaming. Sure, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Fact? So make sure y'all tune in to that. <laughs> but until next time, ladies and gentlemen, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. We out this bitch. Peace. I got to piss like a motherfucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, sorry. The clapping. The clapping. Come here, baby. It's okay.